Hello, it's Boyd from Air Boyd, and it's time for an update on Microsoft Flight Simulator. We've received the release date for August 18th, 2020, just a little over a month from now, and it looks like there's going to be three editions released. Uh, the first edition will be the Standard Edition, then there'll be the Deluxe, then the Premium Deluxe. So what's going to be included in each one? So the Standard Pack includes 20 aircraft and 30 airports from around the world, Keep in mind, this will also be included with the Xbox Game Pass. And that, uh, as we talked about in previous videos, the whole world is still available, but these are just the detailed airports. As we move on to the Deluxe Pack, you get five additional airports and five additional aircraft. And finally, the Premium Deluxe, which gives you 10 additional aircraft and 10 additional rendered airports. This brings the, uh, the final price to $119.99. Let's just call it $120 for the Premium Deluxe. And of course, this is before any other DLCs or anything else that you might add on that have yet to be announced, although we have seen some teasers on Twitter and other accounts this week for some airports. One of the biggest questions looming for many people at the time was, what are we going to need to run this? Uh, I personally haven't owned a PC in quite some time. And I do have an Xbox, and I was holding out for the Xbox version, but it's just not going to come out before the PC version. In fact, I haven't played Microsoft Flight Simulator since I had an Apple IIc uh, quite some time ago. But I'm ready to get back into it, and I went out this week and started looking for things that I could use to build a gaming rig at home. So let's take a look at the specs. Min spec is on the left, recommended spec in the middle, and ideal spec on the right. For most people, this is going to be, if you already have a flight simulator or gaming rig at home, you're probably going to adapt that one. I don't see a lot of people running out to buy a gaming rig just to set one up, unless, of course, you're now ready to get a home PC-type flight simulator in your living room or your office. And then, of course, the, the third option would be to actually wait for the Xbox version as it comes out later. As you can see from the specs, basically you're looking at uh, a Ryzen chip or an Intel chip. Starting at i5, working up to the i7, and for the Ryzen, it's a 3, 5, or 7. Both of the Radeon or an NVIDIA card. Video RAM, 2, 4, 8. 8, obviously not uh, actually that huge when you start thinking about uh, gaming rigs and frames per second. RAM, 16 in the middle, 32 at the top. One of the interesting specs here, which was a lot of the questions that we got the first time we looked at this, was that the, the hard drive space here is only 150 gigabytes. Microsoft and Asobo have said the reason for this is that most of the work will be done by Bing and Azure off-site. Basically, the, the cloud will do the work for you, stream what you need as you do, and that you'll get real-time live weather video and everything from around the world as, as we see it now and is loaded into the satellite and what's, what's been rendered. They also committed to the fact that you'd be able to play offline and that basically, the way I understood it, almost anything that you'd flown already would remain in somewhat on your, your PC already. And you can see that it's not a lot of space that it takes. So it'll be interesting to see what this actually comes out as. As I really wanted to try this out and get a good feel for the game and also be able to try and pre present some video to you, hopefully at 4K, 60 frames per second when it does come out. I don't know if uh, we'll be able to get any HDR footage through YouTube, but I'll do the best that I can. So I went out and purchased a middle-of-the-line streaming gaming PC. These are pretty much all the specs on it right here. Should be enough for me to play the game. Probably a little overkill for the basic uh, flight simulator person. And the ability for me to stream to you, of course, is above and beyond what you would need. Still not cheap. Um, I, I did purchase it myself. This is not a... Uh, rig that has been sent to me for demonstration purposes. Uh, we'll be setting it up this week along with some gear that I have got from Microsoft for demonstration purposes. I'll be testing the Alpha Flight Controls Yoke and Switch Panel, the Logitech G Flight Simulator Yoke System with Throttle Quadrant, the Thrustmaster Pendular Rudder System or TPR, the Thrustmaster TWCS Throttle System, and the relatively new TCA Side Stick Airbus Edition, also from Thrustmaster. So those are the long-awaited specs and release date. Uh, price coming in pretty much where we expected, and of course with the Game Pass, it's included. Now the big question is going to be whether or not you're a dedicated simmer and already have the equipment, or if you're going to spend the two 
perhaps even $3,000 building your own simulator right now. And of course, that's just a basic yoke rudder system and gaming PC. You can spend an awful lot more money uh, building a full-out cockpit sim simulator at home with the radio panels and a bunch of other things. If you already have a computer, you might be looking at doing some upgrades. And for those of you who just want to do this casually, you could probably just wait for the Xbox edition as it comes later. But uh, I'm very interested to see all the things we finally get here. The uh, industry has been asking Microsoft at Asobo for a lot of things. It looks like the 4K definitely came through. HDR is supposed to be there for monitors that can handle it. And we'll see what else we get. We're looking at the, uh, the whole world through the Azure server. Every kind of Bing database picture that exists will be out there. Should be able to fly and land anywhere on the planet. And then, of course, uh, my big wish list for Santa this year is still whether or not we'll get VR support in the future. Looking forward to all this, and I'll have a lot more updates as we get a little closer to the launch date.